I'm here today because I was here 50 years ago for the riots and uh, it's time for us to get back to our roots. The Queer Liberation March is for us. It's for all the people. Everybody can join in. It's not like uh, they're barricaded. We can just march together for liberation. 50 years ago when I was here for the riots that first night, people were yelling, people were throwing things. Uh, it was a freedom. It was like it was our time to to take it back, you know, it was our time to say stop it. It was our time, and today again is our time. The original march was about resistance and standing up, and the other parade, which I helped found, was uh, has become corporate and lost a lot of its soul, I think. It's overwhelmed the parade. It's overwhelmed the spirit. thought of us as something for sale, as if they were buying our loyalty because they somehow hung some rainbows around their name. And to me, it did not validate actual support unless they were willing to put their money where their mouth is, support politicians who are changing laws, create infrastructure, change the system. I'm out and queer, I'm an activist, I'm a journalist, and I've been involved in the queer liberation movement for 40 years. We always believed it was a movement for everybody's liberation, but capitalism stepped in, made it a movement for groups that could get sponsorship from fossil fuel corporations and people that pay poverty wages. And this is the first year we say, no, enough of that. We're having our own march, and a march that's really about queer liberation, not pink-washed capitalism. We will always have a ruling class that tries to divide everybody else and keep them submissive, and they will bribe whatever groups they can bribe with crumbs from the tables of capitalists. What we're saying is we refuse to be bought off with your rainbow flag. We refuse to be pinkwashed out of history. We are part of the history of liberation. We are not just pawns in the history of capitalism. People like Colgate and all of those other big brands don't give a fuck about our community. All they want to do is capitalize off of our community. We still need to fight back. Yes, we've made progress, but we need to make more progress. For me, white privilege is not my biggest issue. The issue is when people don't use their privilege to help the oppressed. I love when I see people that are not of color helping us to fight for equality. We're here demanding that we cannot totally be happy unless we are still seeking liberation for ourselves and for our entire community who has yet to earn the same rights, the same safety, the same freedom, the same liberation that we have ourselves. And so especially white people who are gay and lesbian, we are out here marching for people of color, trans people, gender non-binary people. That is where we should be. That is where I have to be as a person of faith. That is why we have saints who are across the spectrum. A queer saint is somebody whose entire being, the way that they live their lives, wasn't just willing to settle for like their own rights, but that they said, our liberation can only be there for us when everybody around us has liberation. And I think every one of these 25 queer saints are people that live their lives in that way. If I had a magic wand, I would make us all free, you know, uh, without being uh, harassed, arrested, beaten. I'd change all of that. I'd make us free if I had that magic wand. Don't take it. If, 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 it's unauthorized. It's not good. Please, don't take it.